What could I hear you, hear you in game? Is that Radiant supposed to happen? Um, you have to turn. There's like a setting that you turn off. Um, oh, yeah. And by the way, make sure to use your uh, team chat voice chat Sorry, button team. so everybody who watches the replay can hear you. And uh, with that being said, to those on YouTube who just heard th three irrelevant sentences in a row there. Hello everybody and welcome to the Learn Dota 2 League Season 15, Week 6. Today, we're taking a look at Sandgangers and Monkey Kings of New York. We found U.S. Danny in a cardboard box uh, between Game 1 and Game 2. Um, last time, Monkey Kings of New York very, very deliberately um, dealt with the Sandgangers. And deliberately is a nice way for very slowly. Let's see if maybe things get a little more exciting this time. Sangangers do not want to see the Lashrac or the Razor again. You said you use party chat? Um, whatever you. Uh, I think it's team chat. Whatever you use to VC and shout at your randoms in game usually. Use that button. Five seconds remaining. Yes, yeah, Danny okay, shot on his random one. He's a PMA soldier. Yeah. U.S. Danny, who is uh, banned from LD2L, so he has to be here instead. Uh, Unjustifiably. What will that? U.S. Danny is bringing his case to the Supreme Court soon. Yeah, yeah. And so is Looter. I saw the end of last game. And I thought Peter was doing a lot better, but I saw he was 2, 3, and 5. What happened there? Uh, he had a rough start to the game. Um, basically, the MKNY strategy was put a bunch of buffs on PPM and watch as he kills towers while the Sangangers can't do anything about it. Five seconds remaining. This time, Sangangers are not going to let that happen again, and this time they've picked up the Trio Protector. Going to get a Jakiro. It's going to be our Molski Jakiro. Pretty traditional for him. We've seen him do some there, pretty good work on this series this season. Is there a reason they first face ban Drow? No. Yeah, because Manoy first phase picked Drow last week and won. Though he did first oh, phase man. he did first phase pick Drow and win last week against a team that had to run rot a mid because they were out of stand-ins, but well, they could have gotten me. Yeah, there you go. You weren't banned yet at that point, probably. MK and Y picking up the uh Rubik. So, uh, I think I said this before, right? But I feel like I only ever see Dark Ace play Rubik. Last time he was playing Tusk. Playing Tusk, yeah. Was oh, Jackie Chen playing it? Um, no, uh, Jackie Chen was playing it because Jackie Chen has been playing either Rubik or Tusk himself for most of the season. Actually, it's kind of funny how similar the pools for Jackie Chen and Dark Ace are. The conversation that they had before this game leads me to believe that they don't actually know each other that well, but at least in the capacity of playing support, they actually share a lot of similarities. Sangangers picking up the DP here. It's a man here, right? Or do they flex it with Reedy? Has Reedy played it? Do you know? I haven't seen them pick it so far this season, so I don't really know. I I assume it's probably Matt, though. It could be Rhea, it could be either, as he said. How was the Reedy snap? Was it good? It started out well. Yeah, it went like 10-0 and then didn't really do anything oh, wow. close to the game. Yep, he never, he didn't get to hit his level 20 power spike when he wanted to. Even if he did, um, it did I mean, feel like high, uh, right? around the time he was about to hit level 20, he just started dying really quickly in fights. No BKB or No BKB. It's like the lack of BKB ruined that game a little bit. So. Radiant team back. Dire team back. I'm surprised their lineup didn't do better. You could just kill with Void or Ult, uh, Snapple, right? They were trying, but like... Yeah, uh, they they the, tried the, it on Peter over and over again, and like Peter wouldn't die. Yeah. Hmm, what a hero. What a player, maybe. Ten seconds a big part of it is that... Um, Razor was eventually started playing kind of Chrono Police. He had himself a pipe of insight, and he had, of course, his leash. He was trying to play a little far from everybody on the enemy team, and basically just kind of close and counter attack any kind of Chrono that popped up, which made it really obnoxious for Monoy to actually get one off. He had a pipe on Razor. Yes. That's interesting. It won. 
I, I, I don't know if they went without him. Shroud and Bloodstone, right? Would have been probably better. I doubt it, because uh, there is a lot of times when people survived Chrono just because of the pipe. Oh, that's all. Yeah. I don't think anybody else really, because the supports were broke boys in that game. They weren't going to be building that, so is, is that or nothing? They probably made the right choice on that front. He did already have his bloodstone when he got it as well, so he wasn't like uh, putting himself behind to do it. This build is weird. I guess he went AC too. I guess we yep. should talk about this game, not last game. Yeah, maybe that would that would be good. I mean, nothing much to say yet. There's the same sort of bands as last time, just lobbing uh, bands at each other's respective pause ones. In fact, uh, Manoid, uh, uh, yeah, all Manoi bands on right? PMI. Yeah, we, the Ursa is available here, and that's not a good hero to try and land against him. So, this is a pretty good opportunity if he wants to do it. It is right. What do you mean? What Pit Lord? It's a really oh, good like super like you want Ursa into Pit Lord? Yeah, yeah. Ursa into Pit Lord is, is super good. Ten seconds. Just like eat the hero, doesn't do anything. I'm not trying to call him Minoya Piddle, uh, Hero Puddler, because I'm sure he could play other heroes. But I Damn. feel like I only ever see him play uh, P.O. and uh, Ursa. Hasn't really been the case for most of this season. We've oh, done true? most of the Sandgangers games, and he's had a pretty decent variety. Uh, I would say he mostly rotates between, like, uh, well, more or less, between all those heroes that MKMY has banned, plus uh, the Ursa mentioned. They're thinking, I mean, they gotta be thinking about it, right? You gotta be crazy to not be thinking about the Ursa right now. They really do not have good. a... The only downside is that the Jakiro is a little beans to play into it, and you're leaving two cores on the table for them to counter it with. Which could make it a little concerning. They oh, got... Wow. Go for the Life Stealer instead. That's actually... I do like it, though I do feel like picking Life Stealer when there's two cores left on the other side is a bit of a hairy prospect. Maybe they're already setting up for it with the. I guess Ten not really with remaining. the razor band, but because they're yeah. against the last uh, game. Five seconds remaining. Yeah, the good news is that the razor is out. The bad news is that there are definitely still other guys on the table who uh, Life Sealer doesn't really necessarily want to be playing into. Like the aforementioned Ursa, for example, is a pretty bad yeah. matchup for him and not terrible on MKNY. Better on Sandgangers than it would have been on MKNY. It's still rather early in any case. I really, really like Storm Spirit. Just want to point that out. He does. I think it's a really good Void game for the Monkey King of New York. Yeah, it could be a, definitely a very good Faceless Void game. Show them how it's done. Yeah, there you go. And they definitely got a lot of nice stuff to throw into Chrono as well. They got Unless Macropire, they got the, the Underlord Q. Right? Do what? On uh, Sandgangers, they're going to pick a support, I'm assuming. Probably. Who are they missing on their support? Black Otter? Black... No, Black Otter has Tree, so this is Jackie Chen. I don't know much about Jackie Chen. Um, They're going to run out of time th thinking about what he wants to play. They actually did run out of time on one of their bands last week. And just didn't get to Is have one. Is it Reedy? Oh, that's yep. Right. Well, I guess that could... Tiny nice. coming in. I'm assuming Jackie Chan's four? Yeah, Jackie four. It's Manoy, Reedy, Matt, Jackie, Black Otter. I don't like playing Tiny into Underlord that much. Yeah, you can really easily build against that. Life Stealer can personally not care about the Pit Lord, but the rest of the team still has to care about the Pit Lord. We're going to bring out Troll Warlord here, which is interesting. We've been seeing a little bit more of him recently, I feel like, after a complete absence from the first half of this tournament. I think it's a Blue Jay Comfort, but... I don't know, I don't really like the pick. I guess it's good against the carry matchup. Yeah, it's good against Life Stealer, and Pit Lord can give you the steroid against Tiny, so you're not afraid of that, but I think you're a little afraid of what you're going to be looking at mid here. Though MKMY seems to think it's mid tiny or mid DP, so. Which I mean is a possibility. I do kind of think. I think that's the build Manta and Troll uh, World. Mid -tiny. Troll I, don't really it I don't feel like you want to buy Manta on Troll, right? Do you. I mean, no. do you really. I mean, 
Yeah, you're gonna but, need it against Tree for sure. You can you can get at least probably uh, Lotus Orb under Lord and be somewhat okay. I hope Life Stealer gets Shard and Rubik steals in this game. That'd be funny. Yeah, what are we doing? A good OD pick for them. Ten seconds remaining. Yeah, I'm not really I guess sure. Against Rubik is kind of annoying. Five seconds remaining. I'm not really sure what the Sanganger is going to pick here. This might be our Jackie Chin hero. Go flex a tiny so. I think a Storm would be actually kind of good. Like uh, Randy was saying earlier. The only downside is uh, you're picking Storm into whatever the MKMY wants for the last pick. It's going to be Ember Spear. Rudy's top hero, in fact. I think Underlord's really good against Ember, right? Yeah, Underlord's pretty good against Ember Spirit. I don't like him that much against Troll either. It's another case like with uh, Life Stealer Pit Lord, where it's like Ember Spirit personally doesn't have to worry about Troll Warlord much, but he isn't great at stopping Troll Warlord from doing anything himself outside of if Ember Spirit gets far enough ahead, he can just smoke him out of existence. But it's a bit Not of an a ask. Lot of for them. Like a lot of setup for them. Or... I guess for any hero, really. It's going to be interesting to see what we're going to be bringing out on PPM here. Do you have like a train set behind you or something? No, that's a real train. Interesting. I live right across from the tracks. Alright, I'm starting to know where you live. I'm starting to yeah. pinpoint the location. Yeah, there we go. If you want to find me, just look right next to the train tracks. And I'm there, baby. Like a hobo in the 1930s. You can't say hobo in today's world. You can't? No. Are you sure? Yeah. Well, I'm going to say it anyway. Mon Monkey King? Yes, the Monkey King. Wow. Presidentially challenged. Okay, pick Monkey Are we going to, uh, are we going to partake in the time-honored tradition this season of pick Monkey King, lose game? Monkey King on Monkey Kings of New York. It had to I was liking the draft a lot up until the Monkey King. But I'm sure it's not. Yeah, yeah, it's it's like... Against Ember. I guess. I don't know. Looks like a. This not actually. Outstanding Monkey King game. I actually do like this as a Monkey King game. I would like it more if the hero was good. But like. Life Stealer doesn't do anything to him, but just get beat up. You know, the Ember Spirit just kind of has to get out of the big circle. He can't do much in there. And you have a big no-go zone for Death Prophet. You got you, you can put a lot of nasty things in, in circles, in the, like the Monkey King circle here. Like, if you get a Macropire and a Pit Lord Pit on top of a Monkey King ult, it is a lot of pain in there. Yeah. But, uh, they have a lot of it's things gonna to be hard to get them in there, right? Yeah, but I mean, I don't think they're gonna be actively like. I feel like they could get out of the the oak kind of easily. They could get out of it kind of easily. I think the point of the matter, the point of the idea on MKNY is like, <coughs> excuse me, is to heck? set up fights where you know they have to be the ones that keep pursuing they have to stay on the offensive which i think they could feasibly force you know just be the tower pushing engineers right you know the if this lineup is constantly looking at your objectives it's a little hard to say no to them outside of just you know trying to blow up the creep waves and get around the heroes doing it all right my map's completely dark how do i fix it huh i'm restarting dota my map's uh completely dark Oh, nice. That is nice, actually. But, uh, yeah, as I was saying, you know, I think this team can force the enemy team into fights. I feel like most of the, like, mo force the enemy team into fights that the enemy team just simply has to take, or else they're just going to lose too much. And if they can do that consistently, they actually do have a lot of upside here. You know, if Troll Warlord is throwing axes from the middle of that Monkey King ult, you're just not going to displace them. That's just as simple as it gets. But... 
I definitely see that if they have to take fights on neutral ground, if they can't make it to those towers, then they're definitely going to have issues. They can just kind of put circles down and not do anything in them. I think they could actually fight the monkey inside the, where we, the circle, right? Not with... Eventually. No, no, I don't think so. I don't think like there's any the point in this game where you can do that. Like, like the problem is, is uh, you're gonna you're gonna outdo the death prophet Olton, even if she just gets a bunch of items to extend how long that goes. It's like you still have the pit lord, you still have the Jakiro, you still have the uh, Rubik throwing things back into it. You have That's a true. lot of nasty, nasty stuff that goes into it. Like on its own, if it was just Monkey King and a Void, then yeah, definitely. But it ain't that, so. It's also, uh, I think Monkey's gonna need to go Manta as well, right? Potentially. Kind of not what you want, I don't think. I think he could just Flame Guard and man up, okay? Oh, he went uh, W, right? Yep. No manning up for the like a, a roll call thing? We do that at the start of game one. This is game two. Oh, you don't do that game two? Nope. We already, what if we already no, what someone that doesn't watch game one? Then uh, they're never going to know who these people are. They will have to live for the rift their lives in ignorance. This lane looks super annoying for uh, the Death Prophet Tiny. Lane looks basically equally as annoying for the Minoi. They got the... One of the... I can't believe we haven't seen this in LD2L combos yet. Of... Yet combos, rather of the Pit Lord Rubik offlane here, which, you know, is going to be maddening for Manoi to deal with. While he is going to be basically impossible to kill, eventually Kenny Lavender is going to have four points of Atrophy Aura, and Rubik is going to have four points of Fae Bolt, and every time Lifestealer hits a creep, it's going to do three damage. Yeah. And you're going to pick, uh, like, a Trilling with the Dragon Knight as well. Both meds are very low right now. The Monkey King did just pull out his bottle. And I would be surprised if, yep, Reedy's is on his leg. This lane gets harder, I think, for the Monkey, or, or for the Ember, right? I guess he could always just W, though. Hmm, that's gonna be interesting. Maybe the matchup has changed a bit. I mean, I think, uh, I think the biggest thing is, um... There's almost really the stakes. I do think this is going to be a match that's going to depend on play and skilling, basically. But, is yep. dead. No, he's fine. They can't. Uh, they can't break through the Death Prophet to get that. Tiny just going to throw his tree out of protest. But uh, oof. Goodbye, range creep. Neither of these, uh, neither of these lanes are probably credibly going to get many kills, but it's certainly going to be very hard for the for the other side. But at mid, I do think it's an interesting scenario where it's like I think Ember kind of really wants to have a good mid, really wants to put Monkey King out because if Monkey King's down early, it's really hard to see him coming back. I mean, it was kind of hard to see them coming back last game; but they just somehow did, I guess. But still, um, it's not easy. It would not be an easy thing to do to uh, to come back from Monkey King if he was down. But if Monkey King gets to come out of this lane at, like, parity or up, then uh, not so good. Not so good at all. So I think there is some onus on Ember Spirit to perform here. Whereas, like, like he has to win. Monkey King needs to not fail. That's a bit of a wrench in this mem matchup. Shikiro going to be taking the wrath of these... Uh, Creeps. Shaggy Jim once again just getting hammered. You can already tell uh, the way this game is going, the way this game is going. They're definitely, definitely, definitely gonna want a vessel on the dire here. You just do not want to let Death Prophet just have her way in this game. That much is certain. There's one X factor that can definitely tilt this game to Dyer's advantage in a, or to the Radiant's advantage in a pretty big way. It is if Death Prophet just starts going out of control, going crazy. Start needing people. Maxing Flame Guard on the Ember. Kind of interesting. He's listening to you. Oh, I didn't say that. I kind of don't like it. 
My noise is low. I think it's starting to happen where you were saying with that atrophy. The speed bump. It doesn't matter if Rubik low rolls all the denies. Poor Dark Ace. Interestingly, Kenny Lavender is actually going for his Q here, which I don't know if I would uh, recommend uh, trying to focus on that rather than Atrophy, because you're not really reliably going to be able to get kills in this lane. And one point is well okay, enough for the wave. You don't really want to Q that off on Lifestealer, right? You don't, but on the other hand, um, you're just going to... Uh, like, for a Firestorm, you're going to be able to... You know, Rick should be pulling. I get, guess it's block. Yep, you're going to be able to get something. it back if you uh, just hit creeps for a bit, and you can queue if you really need it. So it's just in neither case is it effective. I wouldn't level up my firestorm unless I was incredibly going to be getting kills with that, and you're just not in this lane. I don't think. Like one point is fine, but more than that's a bit scuffed. Oh no, Rubik left the lane. Yep. And Pit Lord just has to TP like, to okay. T2 or T1. Maybe he was it. The rune is top. Oh, uh, he Peter missed. missed. Reedy has. Oh no, he doesn't. It's a dire word. Monkey King just slaps Ember Spirit around a little bit here. I don't know what Reedy's doing, giving them charges yeah. like that. It is a very annoying lane uh, for Ember Spirit when he doesn't get to just spam Flame Guard. Rune Control definitely going to be very important for him here. You just want to be able to spam Flame dying. Guard, spam the uh, W. Who who's dying? What's now? I don't know. Get out. Turning pretty well though. Pretty good turn, right? Block Otter kind of feeding. Yep. Radiance bottom tower Underlord has no mana. Do you go soul ring on Underlord nowadays? Yeah, you barely go soul ring on anybody, boss. Sorry, I don't like it on anybody. Oh, really? Yeah. Reedy the the thing is, the way they... Uh, okay, Rubik's got arcs already, so it's fine. And Reedy did indeed die. I'm the, sure oh, no, Reedy should never die in this thing once he's six, which he is. Ouch. Reedy, Reedy slander. Or you know, I'll say I'm the uh, the life stealer here is gonna have a great time against Pit Lord in the in the main game. You know, as annoying as Pit Lord is for him right now, it's not gonna matter that long at least. Well, at least when he's not queued. Now when he's when life stealer is queued, I mean. Now when life stealer is not queued, then we're talking about something else. But you know how it goes. Looks like he hurt. He's going three points in atrophy now. There we go. Good job. Good job, Kenny Lavender. Oops, and you can really see how it's coming out here. Like, they're just doing literally no damage to him. I don't know why That's Dark Ace put him. Tree on Protector in a better position to kill him there, but you know how it goes. Also, he should just be fighting on top of the Star Storm, right? I'm pretty sure. Uh, <laughs> he healed the creep on the black well, like, Okay, that's, that's unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Okay. Yeah, Kenny Lavender's taking the magic damage here. He's gonna oh, try and TP to spawn and just die. That is not the play. And Rubik would have lifted. Yeah. I mean, he probably didn't need that ult at six anyway. Realistically, you're probably yeah. not gonna do much. Actually, with it. you could have leveled up. Uh, Q, right? Yeah, you can level up W was... and just lived. <laughs> oh, yeah, anything else. <laughs> Let me get a return kill. Poor Kenny. Unfortunate. Like, I think maybe he would have done this and it would have been nice. Maybe. These boots on the Monkey King. It's getting a harder for the number. Yep. Well, it's not going to be hard if Monkey King just takes uh, half his HP and tower shots. 
gonna try and do something here with the Ember Spear with the rest of this Shingu, but Tiny's in town. And okay. Well, that's a little unfortunate on both accounts. Tiny doesn't really do anything, but neither does this Monkey King ult. Dead again here. Oh, it's running it's Kenny Lavender down. Oh my. Okay, I'm annoyed at the game. Yeah. Where the fuck's the Rubik? He Anyone was know? dead. He was dead. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. And now he gets to be Magic Man. I gotta say, I think if you play this lane differently, like, Manoi shouldn't have a game here. It's gonna be a little flamey, but I don't Should really think. Harder. Yeah. Just the lack you of any W, then? the early point in the, in the R on the Pit Lord, and just the way they've been kind of positioning themselves and fighting a little bit. It's just been making this harder for themselves than it's needed to be by any degree. PPM once again showing he does not care about tower shots, no matter how much of the health bar that it takes off of him, which is, again, about half. wonder if Monkey should be here. He's kind of letting Ember farm. They sent the Pit Lord out to med, so... Just traded out lanes here for now, which I, I really don't understand. I mean, Pit Lord could have done this, right? Molski is all alone up at top. He's just gonna take a dirt nap. Tree up, deny bot T1. What a god gamer. Well, the last hit chart is uh, directly in Dyer's favor. The net worth chart tells a very different story. Again, I do have to flame a little bit here. I really just don't think Lifestealer should have been able to be number two here right now. It's probably it's not insurmountable, but... First XO of the game, plus the Ember Spear is just going to take top T1 for free. No resistance at all. Bitlord just got a Vanguard for himself. Rubik got haste. Not gonna do anything funny with it because everybody just backed up behind uh, T1, and then they saw him coming on the ward. He's doing something kind of funny, he's just going back and forth. Finally, we got a point of the W on the Pit Lord. You know, that's the skill you're named after, I'm just saying. Works really well to Rubik as well. You know, you just uh, put somebody back into the pit when they get out. They also take the Firestorm damage that ramps up more when you're in there. Mm, you're right. Maybe Max and Q and going W would have been the play. I think it's just, uh, you just, you, you lean all in, you go all in on E, and you just get uh, a little Q. Go W otherwise. Like, uh, max no. level Pit of Malice right now is, like, not only is that effective in lane, and that I don't think they get any kills if you have at least a point in it, but on top of that, it's very effective right about now, you know, being able to just drop a... Uh, Full level pit on some of these guys can be very annoying. You know, 1.8 second stun that Ruby can put you back into if you want. Life Stealer is taking the top of the net worth charts in the things that should not have happened news. That looks like a digital hero. Yep. One nasty casualty of the Ward Wars. Dark Ace wants himself a uh, toss, and he's got it. It's not a bad spell. Troll Warlord and Death Prophet going to distinctly avoid 1v1 at to top. I like Matt trying to get the last hit there, the last second off of Blue Jay. Monkey King just got Echo Saber. That was a ball. <laughs> this is true classic Pit Lord gaming right here. You know, you just push a lane for three eons. You can never quite mm -hmm. get enough support there to actually do anything, so you're just sitting there 
forcing them to have presence in your lane. While your other cores are doing something, at least ideally, more useful. Blue Jay is at least, he's just casually free farming. And Monkey King is just casually free farming as well, so there's that. Damn, Meanwhile, Ember Spirit push, is just here. Like. We'll keep uh, going monkey. on the there. Yep. I don't think he kills them. Uh, despite the awkward little 1v1. Yeah. I can win it? Oh, oh I, he didn't rage it. Why? Alright, goodbye. I, th I thought he, he was tipped. <laughs> he gets tipped by everybody. I think my knight knew what he was doing, but he just didn't do it. Like, if he would have pressed Q, I'm pretty sure he. If just... he would have pressed Q, he would have run into the lice or the pit lord TP there, and probably had the same result. But still, yeah. pit lord express going right up to his ass there. Radiant trying to make a response here, though. I would really be shocked if they actually got anything for this. I think Radiant really could have used charges, right? Maybe not. Life Steal Lifestealer is just shell shock Kenny Lavender so bad he doesn't want to be in the same zip code as him, which is just like, bro, your pit lord, do some pit lord gaming, you know? I mean, he's not being bad at all. You can look at that. He almost says that so. True. I mean, it's hard to say he's not doing good at all considering he's in second place, not worth charts. That too. He says he's not doing bad. Nice stuff. Noi uh, is dead. Okay, that's <laughs> tipped. It's a lot of damage. Yeesh. You know, if I was on the dire, I would really strongly think about picking up a veil of discord on somebody. Seems like magic damage is already starting to look like a little bit of a chink in this uh, team's armor. Maybe BP will pick one up. That's not exactly who I wanted to get a Veil of Discord, but that'll work. She could just simply Veil her own team. Troll Warlord Ooh. is silenced and dead at top. Kill. At the very least, they should have doing jobs on the DP. I've, DP's had, like, no mana this whole game. Well, I mean, it doesn't matter. She just killed Troll Warlord at T2 and didn't lose anything, yeah, so that's nice. fine. No need. Looks like another dead Jakiro. Oh. Saved. Um. Goodbye. Okay, Reedy. <laughs> I don't know what that was exactly. Pitlord has been at mid my whole life, it feels like. I mean, they can't push. Rubik just got the living death armor. The Death Prophet went mid to push, and the Underlord said, not, not this time. Just like Jonathan Frakes. Exactly. Try just getting punched there, getting no ping. Someone got changed? And he PPM did. died now. Is Matt just gonna kill everybody or what? Did PPM try to fight DP and Lysander? Yes, and he just said that just happened, my bad. Where are the tips? Where are the tips? Come on. They, they already tipped him. It's actually... Oh, okay, they did. Okay. Oh, did they? Well, no, I did, yeah, but. Or the other tip. Come on, guys. I think it would have been better if they didn't. I'm just like, damn. It's not even worth a tip type thing, you know? I don't damn. know. Reedy is attempting to come, place, to come first place in the lowest damage contest. Doing a good job of it so far. Is the lowest net worth core in this server, and uh, by about 500 gold at this point, which is a little awkward for him. Yeah, it's a little weird. Do not address your set. That's my Dota. 
Having a brief hiccup there because I'm tabbing in and out, looking at stats and what have you. Life Stealer just finishes Deso. Monkey Looks like he wants to fight. As well. I'm gonna find Jakiro here. What? Kenny Lavender! Is it speeding there? Uh, I think he was just trying to get his friends down here, but they just. Oh no, no, no! He's alive. Get over the toggle. No, he's dead. He's he is no longer alive, he is alivent. Okay, awkward. You're fighting without that profit all. It's kind of weird. Not as weird as the Pit Lord uh, Express opening there, but. <laughs> yeah, that's true, but. Wrong, wrong button or what? Uh, that was a little odd. At least they have a good counterbalance to the tree's ability to protect towers with the Troll Warlord here. We kind of saw a little glimpse of the troll uh, life stealer matchup there. Middle tower yeah, it ain't, it ain't the best for life stealer. It's not the best matchup in the game for him. It's one of the ones where his magic immunity really does not help him out at all. Troll warlord doesn't tend to build HP items, so you're not going to be, you know, sustaining yourself off of his pool. It's just and very once, awkward in every way possible. Once the uh, troll gets Basher, like you just cannot fight him. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And I don't know who does, like Ember, maybe? I don't know. Death yeah, Ember, Ember, maybe Ember could kite him and Death Prophet could just roll over him with Exo, and that's uh, their options. They're gonna try and find the Exo here? Ember's gonna show up behind, he's gonna use Rage! It'd be magic, I mean, for like an hour and a half because he's Rubik, and now he has Remnants. But he's not gonna get to use them before he dies. No, he's dead. No, he's the Remnant. This looks like a dead Underlord. Oof. Kenny uh, Lavender. Matt's yep. dead. Yes. Oh. Nice. Uh, Matt's Silver. dead. Guy takes way too much damage. Oh, he's moved the wave up the top. But all he's done there is just attract the attention of the Troll Warlord to get some free money. This is looking a little hot, tough for the Sand Gangers at this point. I, I hope, uh, I hope, I hope Monkey Kings in New York wins this so we can have the awkward situation where Sangangers 2 owed Ricky Blinders, Ricky Blinders 2 owed Monkey Kings, and Monkey Kings 2 owed Sangangers. That would be stupid. My team would have 2 owed Ricky Blinders. Citation Ooh, needed. Goodbye, Black Otter. Tree is cut down. Ember is gonna move to think about doing something about this, but like, I don't know what Holy he thinks damage. he can do. Oh, that's a nice oh, silence. Nice silence. And Monkey King looking for a BKB as soon as humanly possible at this point. It's a little I mean, hard to blame him. They know that he stole a spell from No Vision, right? No. <laughs> no, no one saw that. I guess not. He has his avalanche now. That's a quite annoying thing to, for Rubik to have, actually. Yeah, it is. Rubik getting his shard very soon. Rubik is get, getting his shard very now. Lord already has his. Going for a rod of Atos next. You want to hear a controversial opinion? This is going to be the most controversial thing, perhaps, I've ever said on this uh, cast. More controversial than... What you said last week? Yeah, whatever I said. Okay, here it is. I don't like Pit Lord Atos that much. I think it's just kind of a worse version of what he already has. You're just better off I building like things that make you stronger. I like it because I hate playing against it. There we go. But if I hate playing against it, I think it must be good, right? True, true. Check it, check it out. Try and drop the hammer there on Jakiro. Uh, I don't think Pit Lord's getting out of this one this time. Well, the he is bad going deep. deep! It's okay, I think. Yep, yeah, good silence. Jackie Chan oh, coming out the back. Jackie Chan. Okay, where Remember did that just happen? Troll Warlord. Troll Warlord just ate Reedy and then he got s smashed by an ogre for his troubles. <laughs> Don't they just kill the Rubik? What's happening here? Oh, 
Well, they don't need to kill the Rubik, is the answer. <laughs> they don't want the Rubik. That's so good uh, if that's what they have. Uh, doing a desperation really ult here. It may work out it in the end. Kind of another disaster. suck, he has another oh, suck. Jackie. Oh! Jackie oh, carrying the, the other team. Way. Jackie Chen, what a... what a god. Kira, next uh, on the list. Holy tiny. Wow. Okay. That was a really, unfortunately orchestrated fight on the part of MKNY. It just felt like nobody really had a good idea of what to do there. And they just kind of got pieced apart. I think Matt played it pretty okay too. Yep. At first it looked like Matt had lost his marbles, but his team came out for him and they really didn't come out for Pitlord until it was too late. They're not gonna get this tower though. At least not yet. A lot of damage to that tower though. Am I now on top of the... the net worth play? Well, very closely by Looking two of the members good. of the Dire, and then followed by closely by two more cores, and then a million miles, and then it's ready. I'm surprised Ooh, uh, the troll is not more farmed. It's been doing a lot of fighting and doing a lot of attempts to fight where the enemy team just gets away before he gets there. Like, Monkey's still more farmed than him, and Monkey's been fighting a lot more, right? Yep. Mm. Troll has battle for you. Maybe he needs to hit creeps more and faster. Simple as. Just hit creeps. Pit Lord Rodavato is coming in soon. I don't think this really is going to change anything for the better for this lineup. The last couple of fights have been basically uh, the Sanginger strategy is just right click into everybody. Not think about the defense at all. So Rodavato is. Uh, uh, that was not the best, uh, the best telekinesis I've ever oh, seen so on the part of our case. Pitlord Express goes right home. Kenny Lavender is not having any of this. Troll, I just finished BKB. So, I think. I think that'd be a bit dangerous. Tiny's actually so high level, too. He's just going core items. Jackie Chen's just going to be, you know, the uh, the Ember Spirit fell off, so Jackie yeah, they, Chen will be could... taking the role of oh, yes, this game. Oh, yes, we could be in position out of Tiny. We could have forced it to be used to again. XO on T2 mid here. Scan out the Roche. Not where they're at. Is you should ult! It dispels the root. A little misplay. My noise. Oh, oh, oh wow. Never oh, mind. Tiny. Nice stun by Tiny. Oh, and he tosses him back. Oh, he's but not far enough. And then he dies. Unfortunate. That almost looked cool. I mean, it looked cool. It just didn't work out. Yeah. And uh, now Death Prophet is going to be taking his grief. Here. People don't like the spelling roots. Another train. Here, actually. How long can this chase be allowed to happen? <laughs> there we go. Holy crap. I am very kind of messed up there. I could have definitely changed the chain the the people chasing the DP. Potentially, but you know how it goes. Yeah. It's hard. It's a very free rush right now. They choose to take it. And choose it they do. They even get double damage on the troll whirler just to make it even better. Radiant are gonna scan it out, all they can do is watch. Blue Jay okay, Blue Jay instantly snatches up the Aegis. Not even gonna give it. To, uh, a whiff. To start with the uh, tiny killing the support, right? Manoy, what are you doing, bro? If they actually like looked at him there, he was super dead. 
Luckily, they're going to smoke invade the triangle for some reason. How many people must appear on wave before the dire know that the radiant are not there? Is Scotty goodbye on the monkey? Should he not go? I mean, I mean, uh, Vasher, should he not go Scotty? Should he not go Scotty? I mean, Scotty would help deal with the DP region, but I mean, they just need a vessel. The, the Scotty's not going to be enough for that. Um, I don't think Basher, like, I'm just comparing Basher to Scotty, right? I think the idea with Basher is you get the Basher to Bash Manoy, you get the Basher for Life Stealer, just to make his life a little harder. Make sure he can beat neither of your big cores in 1v1. I think he still loses that V1v1, right? Against Life Stealer? I don't think so. Yeah, I think those. Certainly gonna, gonna win the 1v1 yeah. with uh, yeah, Pit Lord. Nice. Trio. That's a trio, yeah. Just walk away from the circle. That's all you have to do. So it's done. Very well played. Kind oh, of uh, goes Casey. to what was discussed earlier. Yeah, they're going right, deep here. A... Still silence. Nice. Still silence. Okay. Greedy's hit nothing. We got two exos going right now. They're spread, they're sep like, it's so good how they're playing. They're separating the fight. They're winning the 6 live right. right now. Cool. He's just uh, mindlessly out, chasing Reedy. My Reedy joy. Oh, he's bashed. But I mean, I feel like Midoi could also just came out and bashed and pray for a bash. Oh, the rage. Oh my god, just barely missing the pit. If only he had the trade to make it bigger. This is very awkward. Kenny Lavender needs to stop dying in two seconds at the top of every fight. I think is the biggest thing I can say here. Rest in peace. Supports for the world. Oh no, the world's winning. Nice blink. Such a good uh, pickup by Manoi. I get the hell out. They want to. Uh, they want to eat, but everybody on Radiant's already gone. The nice Maybe? thing is that they wasted some buybacks and they got some tower damage. But the bad news is they really did not get any objectives of value during that power play. I actually think they could have turned back. I would have been. I would have made a throwy call and say, "Go, go, go, go in." Yep. And then he would have lost. And then he would have disbanded again. Oh! Oh! First nice, to be nice. out. Wow, Manoi, Bash God. Completely. Okay, we have the open wounds. It's not actually gonna matter. Manoy's is dead in an instant. He's dead. Reedy really? is dead in an alive. instant. Throw He's Exo. alive. Yeah. Reedy's gonna be dead. Even without Exo. Just... Fear is too strong. Oh, yeah, now. Die back. Looking very Sports, over. Maybe? Yeah, so is uh, hopefully there tier three push. Yep. I do not see Rubik uh remnants. No. Perfect. Very nice. Oh, I thought you meant Ember. Place them wrong. There's a place on top of them to do burn damage. Yeah, there you go. Come on, Rubik. Come on, Dark Ace. Get it together. This is not the Ember Spirit play I was hoping to see out of you, Dark Ace. If you're about to have Shivas, then the fights are really hard. In fairness, the fight shouldn't be terribly much harder. Um, I mean, the fight shouldn't be as hard as they are anyway. I, <laughs> I don't know. 
It's an oldie tool cast. Um, flaming, let the flaming begin. I mean, yeah. Blue Jay didn't go for Ranta. He went SMY. We need to have a tree. That's kind of sus. This team needed uh, this team needed two things. It needed some dispel and it needed some uh, anti region, and they did not end up with either of those things in the long run. Pitlord's going for a uh, a lotus orb now, but it's definitely too little, too late. I would have much rather seen that before the rod of Atos if you're getting it at all. Monkey King just gonna flap the slave right. I think uh, Monkey needed that Scotty, pretty All sure. Scanning. And Cho just needed more farm in general. Like to fight. He needed the Basher. So he could kill the uh, Lifestealer. I still think He's... he wins fights 1v1 over yeah. the, over he... the Lifestealer. Maybe not with AC on the Lifestealer, but especially not with DD. <laughs> Problem is, he's just not getting these 1v1s. It's like, every time Troll Warlord gets to have the fight with Lifestealer, he's at a massive disadvantage. It feels like every time they have a fight, Troll Warlord's already missing three people, and the reverse is just not true. Uh, Manoy is uh, about to eat a bit of damage here. Matt in a bit of a awkward spot here. He's just gonna go down. That's really bad. They have to back now. The bad um, news is they have the back. The good news is I don't know how much it matters. They do have four stabs on the... Uh, it's a little weird they didn't use any. They also have four staff on the Pit Lord now. I was gonna... You were saying earlier how he was just food, but like he picked up a nice item on the four staff to kind of deal with that. Yeah, the upside is that he got a nice item, the four staff, to deal with that. The downside is that that doesn't help him do anything but prolong his food inning by a couple of seconds. But he still puts down pits and cues, right? Which is kind of nice. Your uh, cues, whatever that means. Pints and quartz, that's what it means. Mind your pints and quartz. Um, I mean, hypothetically... Ah, the problem is going to be, you force staff, you make it two inches, and you just die in seconds anyway. But you get even even when Pitlord's been able to actually get, like, in fights, it's not I really, he hasn't anymore. really been, uh, yep, he hasn't really been able to have a great effect on them. He's got a hood now. I think time, in. once Tiny gets crit, the monkey cannot stay in the circle. Getting a hood, I really just don't understand that choice at all. This team is like 90% physical damage by volume, it feels like. You were... I guess you were saying for the other team. You were like championing the hood, or the pipe. Yeah, hood? Yeah, I don't yeah. think it's the right Good call. going for pipe. It's kind of an awkward game. If anything, game Shiva's would have been really nice. Yeah, but Shiva's is a little unrealistic to try and get on sure, the Pit Lord budget really right now. Expensive. I mean, he had a Lotus Orb queued. Lotus he just yeah. should have just gotten the Lotus Orb, I think. It's like, it feels like Lotus does so much for you here. I mean, for starters, it just means there's one person that Death Prophet does not have the ability to start draining. But having a dispel against this lineup would be very cash money, as the kids say. Oh, she's gonna get a T3 for free now. Smoke right in front of the quick wave. What sort of prize is this? There's Basher on the troll, which is kinda nice. Yep, we're gonna walk right into Jackie here and then get stunned immediately and lose over half his health. Here is dying right now. And yeah, yeah, PPM is just gonna die in a millisecond because everybody jumps on him while that's happening. I don't know. I feel like Troll. PPM thinks he could man up on the life stealer, but I don't think that's true, right? Or did he go on the DP? Which is also I don't feel like he can do because she has Shivas. Yeah, at this point, Peter just feels like he's been wiped off the face of the earth. At this point, it's like. 
I understand what he's going for in theory, but this only works when Monkey King is good and he's just not good right now. Just not as a hero. Numbers be too bad. Maybe. Now we're going to have uh, the thing that happens in every LD2L game at least once where everybody checks Roche, but it's not up for just a few more seconds and then they just walk away to come back four minutes later. PD bottom, that could be huge for the, the Dyer. Yeah, how's Does that, that going to get there? Does that Yeah, it should. No, it doesn't, I don't think. Maybe? I don't know. I think that does. I think that does. I don't know. We're going to need some, like, cameras or the replay they use in the NFL. Yeah, there we go. Going to get our uh, split screen. Split we'll screen, yeah. Get that instant this side, it looks like it's in for the this side. Review. Oh. Parallax single here. Gonna be as annoying as possible to Matt here. I still think Trope can carry this game. If he gets well, it in yeah, hit the run. This is very nice. Troll all the time used on the but... supports. Nice two kills. Yeah, on one hand, two kills, and that's good. On the other hand, two supports was not worth the racks. By any oh, stretch of the imagination. Racks? Yeah, they lost top racks oh, doing that. I didn't even notice that. Yep, I know I hit it. The Soul's AC. It's kind of melts buildings. Pitlord's finished that pipe so he can soak up the Flame Guard and the Avalanche, and that's it. That's not true. There's also the toss. Why did he buy that? Oh, because of Roche? Yeah, trying to secure Roche Pit. Gonna have an Exo out here, try and uh, do something about Troll. Troll's gonna say, no thank you. They should just head back to the pit. Oh, never mind. They should just kill, I guess. Dark Ace is just dead instantly. That looks like a dead annoy. Life Stealer oh, is no, BKB. Oh, they get feared. Is about to be full HP again. Oh, the well, one from the Blue Jay! The timing and the troll. Wow, the, the Prima stun. Oh, the Yules, wow. What? Seven oh seconds. Oh my. God, the Yules. Reedy. Reedy? That's God That's like Matt. Yeah. Well, what did Reedy think of him? Weird chimp. Uh, whatever. Oh, don't don't say him out so loud, please. I'm gonna get Megas here in a second. Troll Warlord not even looking at this. He bought back, did not defend. Yeah, I guess there was a remnant on the ground that killed him. That's what happened. Bought back to walk around. Maybe this is where I would buy back and destroy items. And that's why you're not gonna be in the league next season. That's not true. It's gonna be me and Ani Randy team. I can't oh, wait. Really? Oh, Kenny Lavender no. calls the G's, Godlike Matt says easy, and we're going home. Sanganger's victory brings us to 1-1. One, one. Easy CFD. CFD. What does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that means. I'm fucking down, I don't know. Side theory. Easy. Yeah, that... Mm. That was not going to be on the highlight reel for Monkey Kings in New York. I think, unfortunately, um, the, the game went way harder for them than it should have. Like, and they really just kind of made it harder for themselves at every turn. In particular, the the Underlord play. Go so ahead. Like, at a lane, right? Yep. He was like three levels up on the Ember. It's just... I think the I think there's just a few unfortunate things that all came together, um, but really the the one the most important thing is sadly I just don't I, the the pit lord this game it just was not played all that well I just don't think like if you if you skill it out better that should not be a lane that Monoy comes out winning against you in like it that's that's very pit lord Rubik favorite unfortunately 
As much as I, I hate to say it, because I'm not going to be able to avoid flaming on this, because I do genuinely kind of believe there was a little, a little, um, malplay on the malpractice on the part of MKNY. Um, I think, uh, you can't blame the Ender Lord for that, though, because I feel like the Larian was going good, and then the Rubik just left, and then the tree and the Life Slayer were just saving them and chasing them. Well, like, down. when when it was the, just the two of them, I mean, well, for starters, if Pit Lord skills differently, they can't do that anyway. Like, if he has a point in Pit, they can't do that anyway. But, um, like, e even just beyond that, you know, they're, they're really not that dangerous to him if he's just putting his skill build down a little better. Like, I think you can easily just put them into a situation where you, like, Manoy can't last hit, he can't kill you, he can't do anything, he just has to watch you have a lane phase and then just hope to come back. Didn't see that. The Monkey King started off great. It felt like, um, the men's went backwardsville this game. Like, the PPM Monkey King, it started out looking really good here, but eventually he just stopped being able to compete with the enemy cores, it felt like, and the items on his team just were not, like to his favor they needed a vessel they needed a lotus orb and they got neither of those things i think that's really the the biggest long and short i have to say about this game they just desperately needed those two items and they didn't get them as a result nothing ever stopped god like matt every time matt hit r he just got to eat everybody every time Manoy showed up to a fight he just got to eat everybody and while you can't say for sure that they would have lost um how mk and why corrected those things it would have definitely been a much harder game that's just looked really easy for the sand gangers the whole way through i think uh, this is kind of bad right though because they had matt has guardian greaves and you set there it's kind of weird well the thing is you get the you get either. the you get the vessel far before uh death prophet's able to pick up those that amount of items you know things started off a little rough for dp as you recall and while well, eventually she's going to get those things, she gets those things off the kills. She gets those things because she has 8 kills and 16 assists, you know. You, you pick up the vessel early, and um, not only are you putting her back on those items, you're also putting more things in the game that DP has to use those for. And if you're having to use your Greaves or your Yule Scepter to get rid of the vessel specifically, then that means that there's just... You know, you don't have the Yules to just hit Troll with and walk away, for example. You see what I'm saying? No, because the DPing, I think, actually went well, right? Like, when she DPed mid at 15 minutes, she already had Guardian Greaves. I don't think Rubik was going to have it at 15 minutes, right? You still should buy it anyway. You're not going to be able to just rely... Like, you're not going to be able to reliably uh, hit that Maybe every single time you want Ah, uh, Ember was on the other team, never mind. <laughs> yeah, maybe you could have done that on Ember. Potentially, <laughs> you could have. Maybe Monkey, who knows? New meta thing? Shoutouts to Meth for coming in chat and delivering spoilers. But you yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I feel like, um... I feel like MKNY had the exact opposite situation they usually do. Usually, I feel like at the end of the day, I'm saying MKNY came in with a weaker draft and they uh, ended up winning. Today, they came in with a stronger draft and ended up losing. So I guess the 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 play is to have the worst draft and then they win every time. I don't know. I think uh, Manoy played well too. Yeah, Manoy definitely did well. It was uh, really good. Manoy definitely did well. Um, the 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 Death Prophet played really excellently, and uh, yes. Jackie Chun on the tiny definitely. I think this is like his game of the season so far. You just yeah, those it, those plays in the middle, like the twenty minute mark, were so good. Yeah, they actually changed that around. So uh, it's not to say that all of this was just MKNY letting it slip through the grass, but I do think uh, I would be. I, I would be remiss if I didn't point out that I, I do think that there was a, a bit of MKNY letting it go. What do you think, Randy? Yeah, I mean, what can you do? I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> what can you do? So, if you or somebody you know wants to learn Dota 2 at a casual or more competitive level, go to ld2l.gg today to sign up. Uh, in-houses are going all the time. We had seven stand-ins this week and two, se well, one series at least, I think two, didn't happen due to lack of stand-ins. So, uh, we're definitely in need of though. Do what? The Hollywood series I'm happened. Available. Hollywood happened? Okay, well, one series had to FF due to lack of stand-ins. One really, really nearly did. Like, gotta stand-in, like, minutes before going live. Uh, 
So, definitely in need of those. In houses happening all the time. Queues happening all the time. If you would like to see your uh, cast, your replay casted, go to our little request thread, put in your IDs, and we'll make it happen. And until next time, remember to wash your hands.